weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 30th. We are rolling into the end of the year so fast. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Wednesday, December 7th, that's right, December 7th, uh, full moon. Oh, it looks beautiful up there, bringing some uh, little snow on the ground, a little dusting, you'll have a, a winter wonderland. The uh, sun is not a winter wonderland and it's blank. A little sunspot there, something just vanishing over the uh, limb there, so nothing to see here. Drought-wise, they didn't come out with new numbers. Uh, normally comes out on Tuesday, waited to later Wednesday, and there's nothing. So nothing new, and nothing new nationally. Snow-wise, though, we do have an update, a different uh, organization doing this. We started out at the beginning of the recording period a little bit above normal, back to normal, and before the snow that uh, ended on Tuesday afternoon, you know, just a tiny bit below normal, 93%. But this uh, herd just puts us hydrologically back above normal. So we're doing well so far, good start. Uh, looking at the snowfall, we had 3.2s up to 4 inches around Longmont and into the southwest. Boulder got some 5.8s, 4.5s, so 3.5 out here. A little bit uh, east of town, some fives basically down here. So, yep, nice healthy snow, not so much up on the mountains. It was a lower elevation hit. Precipitation wise, we got oh, maybe half inch to an inch over some of the northern mountains. And oh, went past it, but it really doesn't matter. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, really no severe weather around any place, just a few chances of storms. And that's after big tornadoes just. A day ago down here in the south. Looking at uh, the National Weather Service forecast for the next three days, system coming in Wednesday, Thursday, it looks like it's really going to get us, and then it kind of crashes against the mountains, and east of the mountains should see virtually nothing. This, I think, is overdone. They seem to kind of overdo it for us when they paint snow. For snow, uh, smoke on kind of Friday, nothing going on. Well, the next 10 days, we're still cooling down. We'll hit the bottom in February. But 45 down to 43 for a normal high, 19 to 17 for a normal low. It's not dropping quite as fast as it was, but it still is. A little chance of uh, <coughs> showery activity around the 6th, so early next week. Uh, temperatures are bouncing around after some really cold stuff uh, beginning of the week here with that front and the snow. Uh, kind of in the normal range ridiculous. That's a little above normal there. Let's see 50. Uh, looking at the water vapor satellite loop, there's a system down south. That's an big system coming into the Pacific Northwest. It just isn't going to get to us much at all. Kind of medium dry air in between. Some real dry stuff behind the departing cold front in the southeastern U.S. So notable weather events coming up. There isn't much over the next week. We do have this vigorous trough coming in. Most of its energy is giving it up on the west side of the mountains. Yeah, it looks like it just barely gets to Longmont, maybe Boulder, but it's not really. And then we get sort of a ridgy situation. It's not a big ridge, so temperatures won't soar much, but it will feel a lot better than a high of 25 or a high of uh, 27 or something like that. So the next 10 days we can put this in motion here comes that storm in the Pacific Northwest, and it really loses its energy to the north, skirting its by, goes to the Great Lakes. Ridge for the weekend. We got this thing rolling around out here into Monday, Tuesday. It's cut off from the flow, so it doesn't move very quickly at first. Then it gets kind of stretched out on uh, Wednesday. It's the end of our forecast period, so I'll make another video by now. But there's a trough that crosses about Thursday, Friday next week. A little bit of ridging in between, another cutoff low comes in, goes way down towards Yuma, Flagstaff, and to the south. So this may actually hit further south than Front Range. Looking at temperatures, you can see the cold air in this pastoral moving away, warmth at the end of the week. Another good cold shot, even if we don't get snow, we definitely will feel that chill uh, Friday and Saturday. At the end of the weekend, we're kind of warmer above warmer than normal. There's another pool of cold air up here trying to send cold fronts down, but there isn't much. 
uh, late next week. We see another cold front almost get here, kind of back door in, but it doesn't. Cool air, normal temperatures, some cool on the mountains with the snow. And we have a big cold front hinted around the 10th or 9th of December. So this is a not so exciting map. You can watch the storm come in and see it looks great, but it stops in the western slopes. That's where we get a lot of our water, irrigation water, drinking and like that. So it's great that the snow is hitting still right there on the beginning of next week uh, on the western slopes. So keep the snow going for the higher elevations. It's still ongoing snow there. They're going to have day after day of light to moderate snow. In the middle of next week that pulls away going towards the 8th, 9th. we got a cold front coming down. Uh, but if you're looking for a storm, yeah, it kind of goes down into Arizona and southern counties and then past. So the next five days, the northern mountains may get a little teeny bit. Uh, snow might make it right down to the western side of Longmont, just a dusting or so. In the next 10 days, I'm not sure what is going to create that. Maybe that is that uh, early week passing storm, but I think that's overdone. And for snow, that's in the uh, inch to two inch area, but I just don't see it. So I'm talking for very low chances of precipitation Sunday, Monday. We pull out of the 20s and jump to the 50s for Thursday, and then kind of hover in the 40s, low 50s for the next week. It's a new month. So we can look at the month outlook from the National Weather Service. This is the November outlook that had us above normal, and we ended up below normal. And for the December outlook, they have us equal chances of below normal to the north. If we look at November, we have equal chances of precipitation here, and we're actually above normal for moisture just a little bit, and for December, kind of the same thing. So for frequent up weather updates, and local news, Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.